What it do, Rones Gone? Hey, yes. If you click that notification button, you were the first person to watch this video. So, congratulations. You get a little bit of a dosage of Rome. You feel me? Because, you know, we the best squad in the league. And, hey, we only going up from here. You feel me? Hey, so stay tuned. Make sure to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And let me know in that comment section down below what you want me to react to next. You feel me? You dig? <laughs> but, nah, for real, for real. I hope everyone having a good day. You, you know what I'm saying? And yes, you've seen these videos around 12 or 1. That's my no, my new norm. You feel me? My new norm to post. You heard? And guys, look. Your boy has been working. Look, look at the quality of the green screen now, bro. Like, that joint vicious, bro. Like, really, if you got a green screen at home, it's really on your lighting and your chroma. Your chroma key or something like that. So, hey. Hey, I advise everyone who's watching this video or who do or do not. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Tell your people, start a YouTube, do it now, don't wait, you know what I'm saying, you could be like yourself, you feel me, but other than that, let's get it, let's go, gym girl triggered by man for no reason, you feel me, uh, the gym is getting very toxic, I see, uh, there's a bald dude on TikTok or Facebook, you feel me, and he be exposing the joints, I don't know his name, but he be exposing shit, you feel me, uh, say nah, but nah, because these girls out here, they be trying, you know, expose these dudes for, you know what I'm saying, but then at the same time, you know what I'm saying, you the one at the gym, you in the public situation, I don't even know, but for real, for real, I don't even care, because when I go to the gym, I just be about me, you feel me, and I get my work in, you're, cause you know, it's 2023, it's time to turn, turn it up, you feel me, time, try, try and get swole out here, try and make sugar shake, you feel me, let's get it. <laughs> What would your woman have to that make to bad. be your wife? Oh boy, anything, honestly. I think if she's doing what makes her happy, then that makes me happy. I think that's that's all it really takes. That's, that's really, really nice of you. <laughs> and if she were to make more than you, how would you feel? Great, yeah. yeah. The more the merrier? Yeah, the more the merrier. Great. Bigger wedding, <laughs> bigger house. The statistics don't look so good for the marriages where the guy is earning less than the woman. Now everyone's different, but those are the numbers. Hi, girls. Hi. I go. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you. Hey, we have a wonderful day. <laughs> Please give her you. I take that back. For boys, the new trend. Men are going overseas to find women that are were raised to be good wives. The response I get on my blogs, on my podcast, and Instagram and whatnot is, oh, we like them foreigners, them foreigners, yeah. Those are women that are prep. My girlfriend was raised, her mom taught her how to cook. Her dad said, take care of your man. I know there's women now that can't even put a hot pocket in the microwave and get it right. Let me ask you a question. Bro, for real, bro, they, man... They can't even get their coochie smelling right. And then you ain't saying, no, they they, uh, they can't even cook a hot pocket on top of that, bro. That shit crazy. You're with a guy, right? You supported him. Relationship ended, right? Yes. Why is that? Because I could support for so long. Thank you. <laughs> but not forever. Daddy! I support anyone long term mm. except for their own children. Would you do that? When, when a man makes money, he says, awesome. I can have a family. I can have children and a wife dependent upon me. Okay. When a woman makes money, she says, I'm independent of men. Very different. Oh, damn. You so damn close. No personal space. Hey, no, but damn, bro. <laughs> hey, yo, did she switch fits too, bro? But nah, bro, don't, don't. <laughs> You better hold on to that tight, bro. You see, guys are the rational ones. Things like passive aggressive behavior. Yeah, that's not really our thing. Yo, when the bill came, this dude didn't even make a motion to get the bill. I ended up paying for the bill. I had to call the twenty dollar bill, and I paid for it. He was like, "Yo, don't worry about it. I'll cash app you later." I'm still waiting for my cash app. Who pays? Like, yeah, like, I'll hang out with you. So, what's up? Let me get your number. All right, bet. Okay, cool. You better hurry up. All right, all right. This is my question. Is it who pays? Who is whoever, ins like, insists on a date should pay? Or should you go half on the first date? Because, like, y'all don't know who who's staying or not. Like, you don't know this is real or not. You know what I'm saying? Like, should it be 50-50? You know, just like the relationship should be, you know what I'm saying? Should, should, should she pay half and I pay half? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, even though you might have been like, yo, they go on a date, though. Damn, that's a good one. What's your number? <laughs> Wait, you say, you say what? Here. 
You have a boyfriend? Me up. Seven one three. So you have a boyfriend? You're giving me your number. He's not my boyfriend. Okay, okay, okay. Just a friend. Yeah. He is. What is the worst experience you've ever had on a date? I, hope you see that video. I took this broad out to uh my. Olive Garden, and she had to go to the bathroom, left her phone unlocked. She said, when I get done eating, come pick me up. To who? Some had to pay the bill because I ran up out that mother. <laughs> she wasn't gonna get me. It's like you're gonna have people that are like, oh my god, I think nerdy guys are so cute. And then it's like, this is the nerdy guy in question. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, dude. Far too often, so much of her reaction to you and your behaviors That's can tough. depend upon how attracted she is to you. And having multiple. Bro, 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 he ran up out of <laughs> He got up out of there because he, he, that's tough, bro. That's tough. That's, that's. That's no simp, you know what I'm saying? That's no simp behavior, you feel me? That's, uh, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You gotta do them like they do you, you feel me? Your partners is really bad for your mental health. It messes up your hormones biologically. And Hold on, what's she just saying? Depend upon how attracted she is to you. And having multiple sexual partners is really bad for your mental health. It messes up your hormones biologically. And also, like, even if you're not technically sleeping with all of them, what kind of person are you if you're just an object on millions of people's screens and all that object is is your <laughs> and bum? They're not really seeing you for who you are. And if you don't care about who you are enough to put that out there and all you want to put out there is your body, um, then I think that shows that maybe there's something not quite right inside that maybe you don't value in yourself, so you only value the exterior part of yourself. We wonder why. Hey, some people just want to be a piece of meat. You feel me? Some people just want to be a, a tender piece of meat. You feel me? <laughs> a tender piece of meat, bro. Nobody, you know, nobody, nobody want to be on a, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all I got to say. <laughs> My relationships don't work now when it's instant gratification driven instead of deep connection driven. It's like you could just jump on a social media app like Snapchat or Instagram or Facebook and you could get attention from anyone you want instead of actually sitting down and working on your relationship and communicating with the person that you're with. Instead of trying to work out things, it's like we jump to a dopamine hit. We're like, oh, we want some attention. Uh, our person isn't giving it to us. Let me go jump on here and get some attention from this person or this person. Or it's like you want to keep your options open just in case it doesn't work out with that person. Like, I'm not saying everyone's like, this but a lot of people operate this way it's like you always have to have the plan b the person in your back pocket or the person you keep up with that you want you know you want to keep their attention so you breadcrumb them hey remember that person that came into your life remember that person that shattered your heart remember that person that you thought was the one let me tell you something they were the one they were the perfect one to teach you exactly what love is not so many of the best lessons that you can learn in your life are the toughest ones so you can only be grateful the guys who changed my oil are literally obsessed with me. Like, today they're like, oh, you need a new battery. Mm, just say so you want to spend two more hours with me. What the f*** is a battery? My car takes gas. I'm like, be more obvious. It might just be good to keep your business and your intimate relationships separate because firing your spouse might not be the best decision for you. So someone asked me if I was okay because my ex is now with the girl that he cheated on me with. Now all I gotta say is I'm fine. A female who will knowingly participate in the destruction of somebody else's heart and home is a clown. And I will forever be the foundation of their relationship. So every time she tells a story about how they met, she's got to think of me. So I'm good. So good luck to you, sweetheart. I think if you're ever going to rate yourself, you should always rate yourself a 10. Because you become more attractive when you hear how a person thinks. And... <laughs> Okay, so you're a 10. Yeah. Okay, she's a 10. I have some uh, makeup remover here. If, does anybody want to revise their answer? Yes. Oh, bro, that's... Oh, he violated, bro. Oh, no, 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 no. He, he, he real life didn't, though, but he real life went in, bro. Like, bro, for real, for real, bro. They be painting their face like Krusty the Clown, bro. <laughs> I kid you not, bro. Be, then wake up looking like a whole nother person, bro.
<laughs> it's like, do you want to go get a bit of donuts? <clears throat> sure. <laughs> Females out there that likes to make these gym creep videos where you victimize these men for just existing around you freak out when a man walks past them and glances out of his peripheral and looks at you and oh my god it's a gym creep ah! you bunch of liars bro you all are the ones ruining it for women who are really out here in danger the ones who really need help and now no one is taking us seriously and that is y'all's fault i blame every one of y'all I would never wish something like this on my worst enemy, but just know if you're out here making these stupid videos, your dose of reality is coming and I'm going to pray for you. It's interesting how in any context, a guy coming up to a girl and talking to her is almost always going to be seen as flirting. Why? Rachel's confidence on getting a guy's number. A 10. A 9. So y'all want to test that out? Yeah, we can test it out. No, she can. I'm good. Oh, come on, what's up? But she knows. Wait, so you said you had no girlfriend? Yeah, no girlfriend. So I'm going to invite you to your number? Get my number? That's crazy. Look, respectfully, I'm going to decline that. Okay. So contestant number one, can you please give me your best Christmassy pickup line? If your left leg was Thanksgiving and your right leg was Christmas, I'd come visit you in between the holidays. <gasps> nah! Ooh. Nah, he's the Wizard of Oz! That was... Hold up, bring up. Oh, shit. Yo, hold on. Christmassy pickup line. If your left leg was Thanksgiving and your right leg was Christmas, I'd come visit you in between the holidays. <gasps> oh my gosh. Hey, yo. That was smooth. Okay. Nah. All right. Nah, he's the Wizard of Oz. Was... Hold up, run that back, run that back. Hold up. Hold up. Left leg was Thanksgiving he said... and your right leg was Christmas. He I'd said. visit you in between the holidays. <laughs> Do you have any regrets? Yes, I do. Um, but we all do. You know, so you, you know, when you're young, you have to make choices. And sometimes you make the wrong choice. And then in the end, you just have to accept that's the way, that's the, way the flow went. And then having made the wrong choice, you then try and get back on track and make a better choice next time and learn by your experience. Some of y'all women need to put some clothes on. I don't want to see your naked body. That don't impress no man. It impress a boy. Your naked body for your husband and for private. Mm, mm, mm. You want everybody to see what you got. Why? You selling your body? Oftentimes, people that wear revealing clothing in public have deep insecurities. Just a thing to keep in mind. Encountered a gym creeper today. Obviously, this guy's not dressed for a good workout. And he just kept wandering from machine to machine, staring at girls while they were working out. And I literally stood next to him for so long, and he didn't even notice me. This is so annoying. We come to work out not to be leered at. And yes, I did record, uh, report him to the front desk and show them the video. What a creep. Why don't they give men more credit? Because if you think about it, like, we go through a lot of mental sh Nobody asks us how we're doing. Nobody really gives a sh how we're doing. I got another question to back that up. Why, why do women generally want a man to show his emotions when his emotions are the last thing to consider in an argument? Um, because, one, it makes them more vulnerable, so they have more excuses or more more things in their tool belt to actually use against them, to be honest. Personally, I used to be a very emotional kid, right? Went through a lot of shit to, to, to the point where raised by a single mom, started paying bills at a very young age, so I grew up quick to where I completely shut the emotions. Guys, being emotionless is almost like a superpower. If you master that, you are pretty much untouchable. Let's just, let's just answer these questions. You're a mother of four, with, yeah. and how many how many different fathers? Four. Holy <laughs> How many times have you been married? None. That ain't gonna work. I've been proposed to three times. But that I ain't gonna work. Oh, That's not gonna work. Hell. Yeah, I never accepted. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is not gonna work. There's no marriage to a woman who has four kids by four different men who's never been married. What guy wants to follow that? This dating scene is unbelievable. And don't forget to click the links. Nah, 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 nah. Kevin Samuels, bro.
somebody somebody did that on purpose, bro. But hey, other than that, hey, Rome Squam, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys again for another one. Peace.